Yeah, what's up bros, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. So this Red Dead Online video is going to be a two-in-one. So I just want to show you guys these couple of videos. These are solo, solo lobby glitches that are still working. So yes, that's solo, solo lobby glitches that are still working, guys. So you do not need a friend to do either of these solo, solo lobbies. So the first one's going to be good for gold, money, and XP. And the second one's going to be good for hunting. It's going to be fixed animal spawns. So if you guys like that, go ahead, like the video. If you don't, then dislike the video. If you're not sub to my channel definitely go ahead and hit that sub button mm -hmm. let the video play out and speak to you guys in the next one yo what's up bros welcome back to another red dead online video so this red dead online video will be a solo solo lobby for people who want to make money gold and xp once you guys get back into free roam straight away you need to enter your character appearance okay guys so go into your online options and enter your character appearance don't worry about paying gold or money or anything like that for this part guys you will not get charged but once you get in here you do just want to stay here for about 10 seconds or so once you guys have been in here for about 10 seconds or so you do just want to press circle to back out you guys should spawn in the free roam lobby you probably will spawn at mcfarland's ranch as soon as you spawn at mcfarland's ranch guys you want to run to the train station over here you guys should notice a train coming as you see that train's coming in the distance so what we're going to do is we're going to get our gun out as soon as that train does come we're going to shoot the driver as you see right now bros the train is here so we're going to shoot the driver in the head and now now that we have this train in this lobby we have a solo lobby and it is not going to fill up while we have this train okay guys i promise you that so what you want to do from here is you want to hop on this train and you want to ride this train to armadillo once you guys get to Armadillo, you simply want to hop off the train. Once you guys get off the train, you're going to want to whistle for your horse and ride straight over to the bounty board. And once you bros get to the bounty board, you simply just want to start up a bounty. And now that you have started up a normal bounty, you are locked in a solo lobby here. Now, someone might join you once in a while, but it will be like one or maybe two people. But you are locked in like a basically a solo lobby here and you guys do not have to worry about griefers or anything like that you can take the timer clock right down to 30 seconds so you can make the most gold money and xp doing bounties and you guys can do these back to back i'm going to show you exactly what you have to do to do these back to back in a solo lobby so what you want to do is you guys want to leave your horse right near the bounty board so you can get to the bounty board quickly you're going to remove the bounty off the horse and why I said we're going to leave the horse next to the bounty so we can get to the bounty board quickly is because once we drop off this bounty into the sheriff's office so not the prison wagon guys make sure you guys go to the sheriff office we are going to spawn on the horse and now as soon as we do spawn on the horse guys we are immediately going to get off the horse and you will notice with this bit that the bounty board is grayed out okay so you cannot access it but as soon as the option does come back to access it, you are just going to hold square to start up another bounty. And from here, guys, you are locked in another solo lobby. So from here, you're basically just going to do the same thing over and over again to rinse and repeat. You guys will stay in a solo lobby and you'll be able to make easy gold money and XP doing these. Yo, what's up, bros? Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. So in this Red Dead Online video, we're going to be showing you how to get fixed animal spawns and the solo lobby. So you want to head to your bounty board first. Once you get to your bounty board, you want to press triangle to replay the legendary bounty missions. And you want to start this first one. So you want to replay Philip Kalea, or however you say his name. You just want to replay that one. Once you guys get into this mission, there's alligators, um, there's cougars and panthers. There's heaps of stuff that in this mission that you can get there's plenty of stuff like birds and stuff as well I'm, i don't think you can use your fishing rod but yeah it's easy way to kill this guy too is just use your little sword off shotgun uh, he's pretty easy to kill with that or you can pretty much just shoot him with anything guys just keep looking around and um he's pretty easy to kill once you deal with him hopefully he didn't die yet um, you want to head straight to roads and you'll notice when you get to roads or you can go and find some alligators if you want 
but you'll notice when you get to Rhodes, you can um, hunt the cougar or the panther, sorry. But yeah, we're getting six panthers, by the way, guys. Boom. So you also also need a hunting wagon for this method, guys, as well, because I use this method to to fill up my hunting wagon. So I kill the cougar, sorry, the panther. Well, I'm always calling it a cougar. But yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed, but even when you get mauled by this thing, it says you get mauled by a cougar. But try not to die because you are in the mission. That's very important. If you die twice, um, that's it. It's game over. You got to do the mission. You got to wait to do the mission again. But once you kill the panther, there you go. I got it right that time. You want to ride over this way. Just ride next to this big tree here. It's like this big tree up here. It's right about right there. Now once you guys get up to this big tree, see that tree on the left just there? You just want to hop off your horse and remove the panther. Now once you've removed the panther, you guys want to stand on the path over here. And just flee your horse first. And now go to your stables and go to your vehicles and call for your hunting wagon. Now if you stay perfectly still, the wagon will come right to you. So do not move your controller from here. So stay perfectly still. As you see, it came basically right to me. So dismiss your wagon, now call for your horse and make your way back to the panther spawn and the panther will be there. Um, you can wait about 30 seconds too. It's a lot more consistent. So obviously repeat four more times. After you guys repeat it like four more times, obviously then you're just going to get the, the sixth one on your horse. So as you bros can see, it is pretty consistent. I'm just riding over here, calling for my wagon, standing perfectly still. And now I've got three. They're not all the same rating, but I've got three Panthers. So once you have the fifth, you just want to get your horse. I'm just showing you, I still got a solo lobby going on here. Obviously, because we're in the mission, guys, so no one is able to join us. It is a private mission. So once this, you get back to the area, you're just going to hunt the panther one more time. So this is crazy easy money as well, guys, if you are new. But you do need the bounty hunter. You want to put this panther on the horse. Now go sell at the butcher. Okay, if you're using that hunting wagon for your camp what you want to do guys is you simply just want to sell the the panther on your horse all right and then just obviously leave the ones in your hunting wagon but you want to sell the one that's on your horse before you guys leave here